Though it comes at the end of a long day, the work you perform after the polls close is vital to election transparency and integrity. Your main task after voting ends is to document the precinct's voting statistics. Attention to detail throughout the day will lead to a much smoother closing process. When 8 p.m. arrives, the head judge announces that the polls are closed. Everyone still in line at that time is entitled to vote. After all voters finish, the closing process begins. The public is allowed to enter the polling place after the last person has voted to observe. The head judge follows the closing the polls checklist and assigns closing tasks, including closing down the ballot marking device, completing forms, taking down the flag, removing signs and posters, and taking down voting booths. Supplies should be neatly repacked in each supply container. The head judge will determine and direct when all voting equipment can be closed. Here's how to close the ballot counter. After the last person has voted, the head judge checks the auxiliary compartment for ballots. If ballots are in the compartment, they must be inserted into the ballot counter. Using the barrel key to unlock the memory stick access door, lift the door open. Two judges verify the seal number matches the number on the official precinct certification form. Two judges must sign the form. Press the blue lever inside the compartment and lift the printer door. Unroll the zero tape, lay it to the right, and carefully close the printer door. Press firmly to snap it closed. Press the Close Poles button located near the power button inside the memory stick access compartment. Press Close Poll on the ballot counter screen. Three results tapes will begin printing automatically. After the tapes have printed, press Begin Modem Process to transfer the vote totals to Hennepin County. Wait for the screen to display Successfully Sent Results. Press OK to return to the closing screen. Tear off the results tapes. Press Finished Turn Off. Allow the ballot counter to completely power down. Watch for the power button light to turn off. After the power button light turns off, cut the seal from the memory stick with a wire cutter. Remove the memory stick, put it in the Ziploc bag, and place the bag into envelope A. Close and lock the memory stick access compartment with the barrel key. Fold down the ballot counter screen and lock into place with the barrel key. Close the cover of the clamshell case and close the latches. Using the silver key, lock the front of the clamshell case. Move to the back of the ballot box. Unplug the power cord. Carefully fold up the power cord and place it into the back compartment. Close and lock the back compartment of the clamshell case using the silver key. The ballot counter is now secure. The head judge will give instructions to complete the closing procedures. After transmitting the election results to Hennepin County and printing all results tapes, open the ballot box and remove the voted ballots. Place the voted ballots into the transfer cases provided. Complete a certificate for each transfer case used and seal the cases. After a general election, write-ins will be tallied the next day at election headquarters. It is important to place the unused ballots into the ballot box. Election headquarters will direct you about any additional items to be repacked into the ballot box. Verify all compartments and doors are locked on the ballot box. Following the 8 p.m. close of polls and after checking in the last voter, the poll books must be synchronized one last time. When the head judge gives the okay, the poll book judges perform this action. Once the poll books are synchronized, turn off the printer before taking it apart and storing it in the green poll book case. Remove the ID tray and stylus from the back of the poll book. Your city may have you turn the poll books off before packing them into their case. To do so, hold down the power button on the left side of the iPad at the same time as the home button until the screen turns black. By pinching the green buttons, remove the stand arm from the back of the poll book and lift it out of the base. Then gently fold it in the direction that makes it most compact. Following the steps in your guide, gently place each item into its designated space in the green pull book case, including the stylus, charging cord, and charging block. The pull book can be secured with Velcro straps into the roof of the green case. Once again, verify that the numbers on the pull book case, pull book, and printer match.
Follow these steps to close down the ballot marking device on election night. Turn off the ballot marking device by pressing the power button on the underside of the tablet. Gently fold up the printer's multi-purpose tray and then press the printer's power button to turn it off. Unplug the headphones. Use one of the gold keys to unlock and open the USB hub compartment. Unplug any of the devices plugged into the USB hub, then close and lock the compartment. Unplug all other cords connected to the gray case and to the printer and get them ready to pack up. Open the printer case and remove the top foam padding and any accessories inside the case. Gently place the printer inside the case so that it fits securely into the bottom foam padding. Orient the printer's power button towards the front of the case. Neatly place each of the accessories in the printer case around the outside of the printer. If your city or school district has provided another container for this purpose, put them in there instead. Place the foam padding on top of the printer so that it fits securely, then place the lid on the printer case to close it. Close the power port on the back of the gray case. Gently lay down the screen into the gray case, shut the lid, and secure both of the latches on the front of the case. Place the gray case on top of the printer case, and then secure the two together with the bungee cords. Take one final look around to make sure you've got everything. For more details, please refer to the training materials provided to you by your city or school district, along with the other training videos in the series. All judges work together as a team, supporting the head judge in recording and reconciling the election statistics. Before completing the results tape on election night, the following forms must be completed. The ballot tracking form, the official precinct certification form, and the Voter Statistics Worksheet. Compiling statistics is an important but complex procedure. Review your guide to better understand each step. The head judge, together with the precinct judges, have properly prepared the summary of election results by completing the precinct form and the result tapes for return to election headquarters. The head judge uses the materials return checklist to prepare items for delivery to election headquarters on election night. Secure any materials not included on this list in the polling place before leaving for the night. Using one vehicle, the head judge and one other judge will bring the required items to election headquarters. Once again, thank you for your willingness to participate as an election judge. Remember, you are the guardians of democracy. Have a great election day.